Today, you are going to know the supplementary guidelines in the new normal setup, and as well as other existing basic guidelines that are still applicable in the new normal. To start, let us define the word offense. Accordingly, an offense is an act of breaking a law, a set of rules and regulations, or certain norms of conduct which are designed to provide a person or a society a guide for developing an ideal character or behavior. Offenses and Disciplinary Measures In addition to the existing guidelines, we identify possible offenses and disciplinary measures appropriate for the new normal setup and categorize it depending on the gravity of the offense. For Category A, not dress properly for a class. Wearing of hats, shirts with offensive logos or messages, sleeveless dresses or shirts, ripped or torn clothing, pajamas and sweatshirts are inappropriate. For category B, we have number one, disturbing the virtual learning environment by doing the following. Putting mic on when the teacher asks to place the mic off. Making noise such as whispering, chewing, sneezing, and dumping pen or pencil. Doing side conversations and multitasking or using another device. Eating meals and snacks during classes. Setting up a distracting background. Dominating discussions and interrupting teacher or class discussion and other actions or behavior analogous to the ones being mentioned. Number 2. Insubordination or intentional refusal to obey teachers' reasonable orders on turning video on during synchronous periods or classes. Number 3. Refusing to follow the rules of the specific virtual learning classroom. For Category C, we have number 1. Engaging in unauthorized transactions that may incur a cost to the school or initiate unwanted internet services and transmissions. Number 2. Participating in the viewing or exchange of pornography or obscene materials. Number 3. Refusing to cooperate with a security investigation. Number 4. Using the education portal for political causes or activities, religious activities, or any sort of combling. Number 5. Sending anonymous email messages. Number 6. Cheating and or plagiarism. Number 7. Disturbing the virtual learning environment by annotating the visual presentations of the teacher. Number 8. Recording your teacher and or classmates without permission. For category D, we have number one, sending or posting discriminatory, harassing, or threatening messages or images. Number two, stealing, using, or disclosing someone else's code or password without authorization. Number three, Copying, pirating, or downloading software and electronic files without permission. Number four, sending or posting confidential material, trade secrets, or proprietary information outside of the organization. Number five, violating copyright law. Number six, sending or posting messages that defame or slander other individuals. Number seven, Jeopardizing the security of the organization's electronic communication systems. Number 8. Disturbing the virtual learning environment by chatting or speaking obscene words and displaying of serious negative sexual behavior. Number 9. Disturbing public virtual conferences like Facebook Live orientations, Holy Mass, etc. Number 10. Recording any class session and transmitting it without permission. For
category E, we have number one, attempting to break into the computer system of ACD, another organization or person. Number two, sending or posting messages that disparages ACD or another organization's products or services. Number three, passing off personal views as representing those of ACD. Number four, engaging in any other illegal activities. Take note also that recording your teacher and your classmates and recording any class session and transmitting it without permission are violations of the Data Privacy Act of 2012 and thus punishable by law. Discipline procedure in the new normal for category offenses C2E. Number 1. Teacher who caught the commission of offense will inform the advisor. Fill out the offense report form and submit it to the POD. Number 2. The prefect of discipline will investigate the case. Number 3. The student and parent will be referred by the advisor to the Search and Growth Center for counseling. And number 4. After thorough investigation, the discipline committee will give sanctions and place the student under probation status if necessary. Take note, procedures and sanctions for categories A and B offenses will still be observed. For category C2E offenses, this procedure will be followed. However, the sanctions stipulated in the senior high school handbook will remain as is. Bullying is a prevalent form of youth violence, particularly in school settings. According to an excerpt from the Republic Act No. 10627, otherwise known as the Anti-Bullying Act of 2013, bullying refers to any repeated or severe use by one or more students of a verbal, electronic, or written expression, or a physical gesture, or act that can bring physical emotional harm to the victim. Bullying is also perceived as creating an unfriendly environment for the student that can cause disruption in the education process. The following is considered acts of bullying. Any unwanted physical contact between the victim and the bully, such as pushing, shoving, punching, tickling, headlocks, slapping, teasing, fighting, inflicting school pranks and the use of available objects or weapons. On tardiness and absences Existing sanctions in the face-to-face -face learning setup will be set aside. However, we are asking the parents to encourage the students to be on time during classes and not to be absent without valid reason in order for their academic performance not to be affected. The school encourages a student to wear a neat haircut, but will not be strict on the regular haircut rule due to the health concerns and mobility limitations of our students during this quarantine. However, students are expected to have their hair well kept, properly and neatly combed when they attend online classes. Guidelines on wearing school uniform will still be observed. Grade 12 students must wear their complete uniform, including school ID. However, for grade 11 students, wearing a white shirt or polo shirt is acceptable. Here is the class schedule for the senior high school day class. Here is the class schedule for the senior high school evening class. At the start of the school year, the students were given an orientation about the house rules or classroom rules that they should observe during online classes. These are the following house rules. First, the students should be on time during classes, especially synchronous or live classes. Second, 
that students should always turn off their microphones except when they are given permission by the teacher. Third, considering the internet connection concerns, turning on and off of cameras will depend on the preference of the teacher. Hence, preference of the respective teacher must be followed. Fourth, that students should not eat or chew gums during classes. Fifth, that chat box should be utilized for relevant and appropriate comments. Sixth, that they should use real name in all learning platforms such as Quipper, Zoom, Google Meet, etc. Wearing headsets or headphones is not required. However, we would like to solicit help from the parents to provide any of those accessories in order for the students to have a conducive virtual learning experience. Providing a conducive learning space that is free from the distractions of social media or distractions at home is not also required, but encouraged for a conducive virtual learning experience. If you have questions and concerns about the discipline guidelines, we are very much willing to address.